sagging, bouncing, or uneven floors, standing water or high humidity, nasty odors, or dangerous mold. Crawl space problems don't get better with time, but they do get better when you call APS. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is for Memorial Day, Monday, May 30th. I'm James Spann. Another beautiful day coming up today. We'll probably see a few showers later this week by Thursday and Friday. And the tropics getting interesting as hurricane season begins this week. So a lot to talk about. Let's take a look. Upper airflow early this morning. We got a big trough in the west and ridging here across the southeastern states. And that will be deflecting the rain-producing systems north and west of here for several days. Temperatures are mostly in the upper 60s and low 70s to start the day. Highs probably close to 90 in most areas this afternoon. There's the watch warning map. Got a severe thunderstorm watch for parts of Minnesota and Iowa as the day begins. Wind advisories down into Oklahoma. The east is quiet. Another very active day for thunderstorms way up north. A moderate risk, level 4 out of 5 for parts of the Dakotas and Minnesota. This is tomorrow, a chance of severe storms from the Texas Panhandle, the Great Lakes. Also a marginal risk over the Florida Peninsula. This is day three, which is Wednesday, a risk of severe storms from West Texas to the Northeast. And then day four, Thursday, got a risk of severe storms around the Middle Atlantic Coast region. That would include Washington, D.C., Baltimore, and Richmond. Here's the rain for the next seven days, and we'll start to see a few showers later this week, but just not much. Rain amounts under a tenth of an inch for most locations here for the next seven days. And the tropics are indeed getting interesting. This is Hurricane Agatha with winds of 110 miles an hour near the Mexican coast, the Pacific coast, not the Atlantic coast. This will make landfall later today. And then the system will dissipate over the inland part of Mexico tomorrow. And then the remnants will be coming out into the Bay of Campeche. And the National Hurricane Center has a 30% chance of redevelopment here in the next five days. As a complex low will be forming in the Bay of Campeche, drifting over toward the Caribbean. And the best way of looking at uh, what might happen from there, it's the ensembles. And this is the European ensemble probabilistic outlook. This is the chance of tropical depression formation over the upcoming weekend. And you can see the higher probabilities will take this into the Florida Peninsula. Again, not the panhandle, but the peninsula. Uh, so our friends in places like Tampa, Miami, Fort Myers, uh, we'll have to keep an eye on this. Uh, mainly these early season systems that form in the Gulf, they're big rain producers. But again, all of this stays south of Alabama and south of the northwest Florida beaches. So model fans, let's look at the GFS. This is the 06C run valid today at 4, ridging for the east, big trough out across the Great Plains states. And again, most of the really active weather way up north down here, a sunny Memorial Day with a high not too far from 90. Same thing tomorrow, a sunny day, a hot afternoon. No change on Wednesday. Then Thursday, a weak front will be pushing in from the north. That will likely trigger a few scattered showers around during the day. Heat levels coming down a little bit, highs mid to upper 80s. Uh, humidity values ticking up. This is Friday, and again, the front washes out. It doesn't push through here. We'll mention a small chance of a shower, but obviously not much happening. And this is Saturday as the weekend begins. Looks like the sky should be mostly sunny, highs mid to upper 80s. And we note the uh, GFS depicts a surface low approaching the Bahamas. That would be the ghost of Agatha, if you will. Now, this is the European Saturday, and it's got the ghost of Agatha in the far southern Gulf, west of Key West. And if this develops into a tropical storm, it would get a new name. Uh, the system will dissipate Agatha over Mexico, and the remnants will regenerate. That means this would be Alex if it develops at all. And this is Sunday morning. The European pushes the tropical system into central Florida, uh, around Tampa Bay into Orlando. And then by Sunday evening, it's back out in the Atlantic. But again, for us, the weekend ahead looks mostly sunny with highs um, 85 to 90. Here's a week from today, Monday, June 6th, troughing up north. And again, for us, things look pretty quiet. We'll go out 10 days. This is Wednesday of next week, June the 8th. Got a ridge across the southeastern states, again, troughing to the north, and evidence we could see a few showers at that point. And the ghost of Agatha is still 
hanging around off in the Atlantic, off the Middle Atlantic coast. Rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble, the mean between 1 and 2 inches between now and the 13th of June. Temperatures uh, about what you expect for this time of the year. Highs 86 to 91 for a while. Evidence of mid-90s may be out there toward the 8th or 9th of June. And the latest 8 to 14 day outlook, this is for June 6th through June 12th. Temperatures below average up north, a little above average down here across the deep south. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. Just one video today. We're on a holiday schedule. We'll have fresh notes posted on the blog, alabamawx.com. You can watch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great Memorial Day and God bless. Cracks and Brick. Cracks in block, call Alabama Professional Services. Leaning or bowing basement walls, call APS. Sticking windows or doors, call APS. Settling or sinking foundation, that's right, call APS. It's a fact, foundation problems don't get better with time, but they do get better when you call APS. Call Alabama Professional Services today.